Today is April 27th and rumor has it that there is going to be a snowstorm in Milwaukee. So we decided to be vegan hermits, but before we decided to be vegan hermits, we went to the grocery store. We're not going to tell you exactly what we're going to make today. You're going to have to find out, but we've got a bunch of cheese, cream cheese, avocados, bread, boca burgers. Uh, some of this stuff we're not going to eat today probably, but yeah. probably a decent amount of it. We're going to eat a lot of it. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, it hasn't even snowed yet and we're two hours into this snow warning, mm -hmm. snowstorm warning thing. And it hasn't happened yet, but I believe it. It's pretty cold. That's a good day to be a hermit and either way. Yeah, I'm down to be a hermit. It's what we do best. <laughs> yeah. so we're good at it. So step one is make a breakfast sandwich. Uh, so I, I wish I wish we had this on oh. camera, but Kat was cutting it. And like she, you, so you just saw that side and then I started laughing and he was like, wait, what? I, no, was, I messed then, up right. so bad, I'm sorry. I, I was cutting it and then you were, you were like, oh, way to go. And I was like, what? It's perfectly straight. And then you're, I was like, I turned it around. <laughs> This is what you saw, and then I was like, what? Look at my side. It was perfect. <laughs> oh, um, no. I'm sorry. Oh, no. We're going to have to eat our way out of this problem. So we've got the relatively large tofu, and then I just looked at this. We bought this a couple days ago, and this is the sausage that we're going to be using. It just looks so small. All right, so I, I haven't seen it, yeah, but right. we might have to use, like, two patties per. Yeah, we can, we can do that. Two patties per... Thing, but yeah, everything. Yeah. Uh, we planned this out really well. <laughs> but at least, it was, okay, so what we did was, you know, usually tofu is like rectangular and we just chopped uh, this piece off of here and we'll just use that for future scrambles. And also this lopsided piece, we'll just use that for future scrambles. But it's about the size of this everything bagel. So. Yeah, we were measuring it kind of. This, she, this one, she thick. <laughs> <laughs> she a thick one. Yeah. So we're using butter. And so I was <laughs> initially I was like, oh no, we don't have spray butter, we don't have spray oil. And what did you say, Kat? We have butter. <laughs> just, just like that. <laughs> well, yeah, that will make it taste even gooder because we're going for like really good tasting, unhealthy hermit vegan food. Hermit. So we might as well stay on the theme. Hashtag hermit. Oh, yes. So we decided that we're not going to be using the sausages, we're gonna be using this, which I got, we got this from, was it Whole Foods, I think? We've never had that uh, vegan bacon before, but I had a coupon from Expo West Oops. for a free of anything from Sweet Earth, so we decided to use the bacon. So you just put black pepper, onion powder, garlic, turmeric, <gasps> and you're gonna put Nutron, right? Yes. And then at the end, black salt. Those are the raw taste tests of the bacon. That was like a dog treat, <laughs> actually. Very smoky. I don't like it raw. You don't like it raw? Mm-mm. Yeah, but it's it. probably good cooked. Yeah. Raw it is smell, just a lot it, because it's marinated mm -hmm. and it's supposed to be eaten cooked. So it I'm not gonna sounded judge about that. really good when we put it It smells on. good cooking. Yeah. It just, yeah, don't, don't try it raw. Yeah. <laughs> Just like, you know, you wouldn't want to eat actual meat raw either, so yeah. it makes sense, I guess. Yeah, it's a I, I don't think it tastes too bad raw, but I'm definitely looking forward to it being cooked. Oh. So let's first show a close-up. Cover up your face. Oh, girl. Yeah. I wonder if I can, can I rip this? Mm, uh, if you want. I don't know, I'll probably go everywhere. I'll just show a cross-section where we're part way through. We could cut it. Oh, wow, <laughs> you're so smart. <laughs> I'm thinking of that. Thank you. You're the smarter one of us, Thank too. You. <laughs> <laughs> oh, ooh. ooh it's kind of like that. an egg yeah, white. Yeah, it's kind of got the cheese on the bottom. Oh my god. <gasps> Yum. It's so good. Okay. This Let's bacon take, smells so good, too. Take That's a everything. bite. Mm. Such a good cook cat. <laughs> Mmm. This is your first bite. I'm, oh my god. Wow. This is a really good decision. Oh my god. <laughs> Holy crap. Wait, can I say that? Oh, the wow. C word? Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I just want to try this bacon. You can just bleep it out. This is uh, so good. The, it seems like the middle of the bacon is like wow. not super crispy, but the outside kind of is like the edges of it, or the corners. I want to see what a 
bitten one looks like. <laughs> this is one with a good ratio. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. Is that part of the reason why you wanted the skinny one? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Cause yeah, mine's thinner. Mm -hmm. And it's, yeah, his is more like a egg burger, like yeah. a tofu burger. Which I'm but fine with that too. I've this done that so before good. on the grill with like just barbecue sauce. I sandwich. Used, I've had so many of these. Mm -hmm. I used to make these all the time, like before like school and stuff. But with like with actual egg yeah. back in the day? Yeah. 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 <laughs> let's talk about that. <laughs> but this tastes like the same thing. Mm -hmm. I tastes, like, oh my gosh. Well, maybe because mine is so thick. Like the outside kind of tastes like egg, and then the inside, like you know, the flavors didn't exactly penetrate it. Mm -hmm. So the inside kind of tastes like tofu, but the outside tastes kind of like it's kind of like a mixture. Do you want a bite of my thin one? Sure. Can I try one of yours? Mm -hmm. All right, I'll try to find a thin bite. Mm. I, kind of, I think I kind of like the thinner one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh yeah, mm -hmm. I see the difference. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. Yeah, the. Mm. Sweet earth bacon. That was good. Yeah, this is really good for sandwiches. And everything bagel is really good for breakfast sandwiches. For pretty much yes. everything. It's, it's good for everything. That's why they call it the everything yeah. bagel. <laughs> well, because they put everything on it, yeah. too. Oh, yeah. Did we show what kind of cheese we oh, had? Oh, yeah. Is it done? Oh, my gosh. It's been, like, two, three, three minutes. Oh, yeah? I can count. <laughs> so this is the cheese that we were using, Daya. If you haven't tried the Daya slices, the Daya slices are pretty good. Um, and people are still, I think, a little bit confused about the Daya cheese because if you had the old Daya cheese, it was okay. But this new Daya cheese, it looks like this. This is the packaging. Uh, this is the new Daya cheese. So if you see this, this is the good stuff. Um, and you see up here it says cutting board shreds. So it's just as good as the, the kind that you get. It's just like a block. This is like the same thing, it's just shredded. Um, but they have like really mastered the cheese. It melts really well, it tastes really good. Uh, it's just like a massive improvement. So if you've tried Daya years ago, I highly recommend trying the new Daya cheese because in my opinion, it's much better. <laughs> Sponsored by <almond. laughs> Sponsored by the almond Oh, industry. this is the, oh, I'm covering it up. Man, I'm <laughs> not good at this. Here we go. Sweet and creamy. Mm. Can you insert that clip of that lady's vine? I'm just gonna eat bread and <laughs> get off back. Get That's what we're doing this winter storm. Yeah. So you put two bags of chai tea in here? Yeah, I steeped it with two bags. Oh, I'm an Elvis fan, in case you didn't know. Um, two bags of chai, and I steeped it for about five minutes or so. And then I add some of my sweet and creamy creamer. Ooh, I want to show it. <laughs> there we go. It's hard to see. Okay. Just a little. Just a little. <laughs> like that vine of that lady. Just a, two shots of vodka. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah I've, I've actually never tried creamer before. So oh, this, this is, is very good. Amazing. And then I don't have a frother, but it's on my Amazon wish list, so mm -hmm. don't worry. Yeah. I'm gonna get one. If anyone wants to send me one, it's <laughs> 123 Internet Street. Mm -hmm. Um But yeah, and then you can choose how much you want in there, but I don't have that much left. But let me give you some so that you <laughs> Did you I already me? Added. Oh <laughs> I stir. Oops. I help. Thanks. You probably will want more. Well, a little goes a long way with sweet and creamy. It's probably still pretty hot. But yeah, if we had a frother, mm. or you could just get a little whisk. But this is good. You could just stir it really fast yeah. until it gets frothy. Mm -hmm. Do you taste test? Oh, yeah. Oh, can I use that probably to hot. stir it? Oh, yeah, sorry. Is it still really hot? It's okay. Yeah. We added the creamer. Yeah, it definitely it cools it down. Creamer. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, you definitely added more to mine. <laughs> Oops. Yeah, it's really good. I've never, I don't think I've ever had chai tea before. I've never had almond cream, so I'm trying a lot of new things. Or any type of creamer I don't think I've ever had, because I just don't like coffee. Yeah. I've never heard of putting it in tea, so. Yeah, it's a nice it upgrade. For, yeah, it's for a tea latte, matcha latte, mm -hmm. chai latte. What else is there? Oh. Earl, I've seen people make latte with Earl Grey yeah. tea. That's really good too. Um, yeah, I love tea. Yeah, if you were to describe this tea, how would you describe it? Cinnamony, uh -huh. clove, 
and if you add the milk then it's more milky and yummy it's kind mm. of like a hot chocolate but like a cinnamon yeah. hot chocolate yeah that's a good description and also yeah are using expired date yeah, it's like a couple years They're, old. The tea bags are a couple years Dang. old, but we googled that it's mm -hmm. still safe. Yeah. They're just not as t good quality. Yeah, not as strong. Not as taste. strong. Yeah, because we use like two bags in each one. Yeah, and it's and still it not really that strong. strongly brewed. Like you don't want it to be too watery. Yeah, because I've had experience. And by the way, this is inspired by Oprah because Oprah likes chai tea and bread. This was a total Oprah meal. <laughs> <laughs> For Leonard, we're gonna have onion rings. We've made them homemade. We even made the bag. It's custom made. Uh, yeah, now we're just going to cut them open very carefully and dump it onto this homemade pan. Homemade? Yeah, we made it. Okay, you can move closer and just zoom out. <laughs> yeah. Um, there you go. Oh! <laughs> I didn't know I zoomed in. I was so focused on holding this stem. It probably wasn't even steady. You are probably um, even telling me it was a little wobbly. Uh, but anyway, yeah. So Kat likes them when they're... You like them when they're all piled up and like kind of soft. I like when they're soft. more soft, yeah. And then I like when they're... So I'll, I'll do a pile of some over here. Um, Kat's and, pile. And then I like them when they are just kind of crispy. And not squishy. So not piled up. So... And then you just stick them in the oven. You don't even have to turn it on. Nope. You just press the onion ring button and uh, there you go. I don't know if you can actually see it, but it is snowing a little bit, which is kind of sad. <laughs> <laughs> it's just what, this is what onion rings look like. We slaved over the stove for these. <laughs> Um, and then I did a little bit of editing and Kat, you were working on your bullet journal. Mm -hmm. You got me a journal actually mm -hmm. that I haven't been using lately. But you used it a lot, hardcore. I used it like right a lot in the beginning and I felt like I felt really good about it because what I like to do is like the night before I would write like a to-do list so that I actually remember what I have to do the next day because otherwise I just forget. Uh, and then the at the end of like the next day I write down what I actually did during the day to like write down if I actually did what was on my list um, or if I was just really lazy, which would kind of motivate me because I would be like kind of holding myself accountable because I was like, all right, well, I'm going to have to write down in my journal later on if I did this thing or not. Um, and then it's also it's also just nice, like, you know, if you want to just look back in 10 years and go, oh, yeah, I remember that day. Cause, mm -hmm. like, just for memory's sake, it's really nice. And it's really yeah. satisfying to look through full pages of things. Yeah. <laughs> I love full pages. Yeah. But like, you're, you're more arts than yours. I take breaks. I'm not an artist. Yeah. All. I suck at art. So, yeah. I'm not, I'm not like one of those, like, I love watching those YouTube videos of people with bullet journals mm -hmm. a lot. But I take breaks too. Like, yeah. you're not alone with yeah. wanting to, like, stop for a while and then get back it's into not it. That I, I don't even want to stop. Like, I want to keep doing it. I'm just too lazy. To yeah, me too. And then I'll it. be like, and then one day I'll be like, well, I'll just write a to-do list in here. And then yeah. I'll start doing things again but i just made my summer calendars mm -hmm. and i made a tax expense log which yeah but it's fun i just want to see what i can show you yeah, okay funny. yeah well yeah, we I'm, not, I'm not finished with my calendar <laughs> yeah. but i just started but there's may yeah. see i'm not an artist i just kind of do it mm -hmm. may june um chandler's birthday <laughs> <laughs> um my birthday and then july Oops. And then August, I haven't filled in what I'm doing yet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then, yeah, I made a tax expense log, but I'm not gonna show that. Yeah. So you'd have to blur it all out pretty much, but it's pretty simple. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's really nice, I love it. And then there's like to-do lists, like basically anything you want to write, you can write in a bullet journal. Mm -hmm. And like you can draw and like decorate, and you could, or you could just have a scribbling page, um, brain dumping. Oh yeah, yeah, you're really talking cool. about that. Yeah. Um, brain dumping, basically, if you don't know what it is, it's where you, um, you wake up in the morning and then you immediately write three pages. And you have to write three pages worth of things, anything that's on your mind, like you don't think about it, you just write it like brain dump. <laughs> mm -hmm. And then after you complete three pages, 
then you shut it or you go to whatever you sh you move on you don't read it mm. and then you just have like this weight off your shoulders for the rest of the day sometimes if you're feeling anxious if i feel anxious or like kind of like weird or something's on my mind then i'll just do that and then three pages is like what really makes it because the first page is kind of like what's on your mind right now and then the second page is kind of like what is also like the back of your mind and then once you get to the third page then you start getting things that are like real that have been on your mind for a while that you didn't realize were on your mind They're like deep in your mind yeah, yeah. like deeper issues yeah <laughs> well, you know what i mean yeah. and then if you just write it you wrote it down you close it you don't look at it and then you just go wow <sighs> i just got it all off my chest then you yeah. can move on <laughs> yeah i don't know yeah so anyway <clears throat> <laughs> We're gonna take a Mario Kart break after I this. I covered my mouth to be up. nice. Yeah, yeah, Mario Kart and onion rings. I think I actually like these onion rings better without ketchup. Oh, I used that just in time. Oh my god, I almost got hit by a red shell. Oh, whoops. Oh, is that you? No. I'm When the snow falls down in April. And your TV brings you the news About a president claiming his victory But I think we all will lose We ready? <laughs> what? Is that, is that all melted? Like it is most of the time? I feel like I did the ratio that I normally do and it doesn't look very good. <laughs> I mean, it's okay. We could mix it. Yes. Or should we put it in longer? I don't know. Yeah, usually the cheese is more melted. Maybe I need to use more cheese next time. Maybe I didn't use enough cheese. Oh, it looks okay. Yeah, it just doesn't look as good as we did last time. Oh. Oh. Well, this isn't that thick. Right? <laughs> thick. <laughs> we just put a bunch more cheese on, and we're just going to put it back in. 350 again for, I don't know, 10 more minutes. Round two, hopefully it's, okay, it's, it doesn't, okay, just, you just got to trust me, okay? It usually looks better than this, even though we put more cheese on it. I think, well, usually we use just ranch, but Hampton Creek has been out of it. So we just used, it was mayo, I think it was like reduced, was it like reduced fat mayo or something like that? It wasn't even like the normal, yeah, it was reduced fat veganaise. We did. A quarter cup of this, a quarter cup of unsweetened almond milk, uh, I think half a teaspoon of black pepper, a teaspoon of garlic powder, and a teaspoon of um, onion powder. And like it tasted like ranch, but I don't know, it's like it probably messed with the consistency a little bit. Um, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, just ranch. Where are you, Hampton Creek? You're letting us down. It doesn't look so good. But so if you guys want the full recipe for this dip, um, you can just check out the video that Kat and I shot uh, it was a couple months ago, but we have the whole recipe there, so you can go watch that. I can link that below. This is dangerous. <laughs> this is dangerous. Let me scoop some on for you. Thank you. Oh no. There you go. Yeah, I think this looks a lot better mixed up. This is not gonna work. <laughs> <laughs> just do it quickly. No, my cat's having a hairball. Oh no, kitty. Sorry. <laughs> that was fun. Are you okay, baby? Okay, anyway, <laughs> cut that out. Yeah. Take, here we go. Mm. Good. It tastes just as good as normal. It just, I mean, mixed up, I think it looks just as good. Wow. So we're eating this with everything bagels while Kat relives her childhood playing Donkey Kong. I'm gonna play it right this time because I yeah. didn't really read or pay attention. But oh wait, did I leave too soon? <laughs> no. Was I supposed to get something in that room? I think banana. I don't know. I don't know. I've actually never played Donkey Kong before. Growing up, I had the um, the original Nintendo. And then I went from that to the PlayStation 1 and then Xbox, Xbox 360, and now I have the Xbox One and I play a little bit of PC, but this is all new to me. So we're just gonna hang out and eat some chicken wing dip and play on 64. So that was like two days ago. We had a lot of fun just being unhealthy vegan hermits for a day, mm -hmm. especially that unhealthy. Like we, we both were like at the end of the day, just like 
my stomach just hurts. Like, it just doesn't feel worth good. It. Well, it yeah. was kind of worth it, yeah. but not really. <laughs> just like every once in a while, just have like a really unhealthy day. And like, I feel more motivated to eat healthy because of how unhealthy I felt at the end of the day. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think sometimes just catering into your cravings yeah. kind of helps you sometimes because I'm not saying this for everybody, but yeah. for me personally, like all the times that when I was like trying to go vegan, for example, mm -hmm. I would like. Sorry, I'm driving. So yeah, I know. <laughs> um, I would crave something that mm. I really wanted. And when I would let myself eat it, then I would feel so gross after. Yeah. And I'd feel really bad and guilty. So then it would be kind of helpful because then the next time I would think about eating that item again, then I would go, um, it wasn't really worth it last yeah. time. I remember the last time I didn't feel that great after. So then mm -hmm. it just reminds you to, yeah, I think I want to eat healthier. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Cause I mean, if you follow me on Instagram, I mentioned, I think a couple of times, like I'm going to start eating healthy. And then I w did start eating healthy. And then Kat and I are not the best influences on each other no. when it comes to food. Like, we're both enablers. Yeah. Uh, but, like, it's, I don't know, it's just, it's really fun. And I only get to see Kat for, like, a little bit. Um, but, yeah, yeah we're, we're driving to the airport right now. And then I'll be home for probably, like, a month. And I'll probably be back out here. Um, but I'm going to try to be here uh, as much as I can this summer. Especially since I'm going to be hiring Dylan um, to be my camera person and editor and stuff. To help, just help me out at Hercules. I'll still be doing majority of the Hercules stuff when I'm home but it'll be a lot easier for me to get away. So um, anyway, I'm just really excited for this summer to be here a lot and then also be shooting with Dylan and stuff. So Woo. yeah, but all right, I guess we're gonna have some alone time before we go to the airport and stuff. We're gonna go cry now. I know, <laughs> yeah, all right, bye.